Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we're going to be talking about a dynamic system bringing rapid changes and another upcoming Arctic blast with heavy snow, some damaging winds, and ice. Good morning everyone, this is your Saturday update. So let's delve into the details this morning and what we're taking a look at is for overall water vapor imagery as we expand the view and look at all these orange shaded areas that is your dry air and a lot of sinking air so much of the much of the caribbean is experiencing really nice conditions this morning and even down into good chunk of the southern plains and a lot of the into the portions of the southeast as the jet stream is lifting to the north and underneath that we do still have some instability and some winter storm watches in place that are, that are going to be coming up for portions of montana going into the dakotas again we have yet another snowstorm that's on the way bringing you know four to eight inches of snow <clears throat> and then we have some winter weather advisories and the higher elevations of washington as well as oregon here and then we got all those higher winds to still contend with into portions of the northeast going into the mid-atlantic states and along the east coast here with those 40 to 50 mile per hour winds so it seems to be pretty windy uh, as of late with these systems uh, coming across but there's the setup for today and a lot of these orange shaded areas underneath that high pressure yes you're going to be experiencing a lot of sunshine out there so enjoy the the beautiful day for much of the west coast and much of the much of the south and the southeast but there's the there's the northwest flow where we are going to be seeing some snow showers and along uh, portions of southern uh, Canada here as well as into the portions of uh, Pennsylvania as well as upstate New York and then we're waiting for that uh, another snowstorm that's going to be on the way as we get into that Sunday into that Monday time frame is there's the setup by Monday again as the jet stream continues to lift further to the north much of the much of the country is going to be experiencing a zonal flow and underneath that you got a lot of dry air and a lot of warm air and but there's there's the there's the demarcation line of your of your snowpack that's going to be impacting portions of washington and oregon as well as uh indiana uh, idaho here in in montana with that upcoming winter storm and that's why they've got those winter storm watches uh in place but as we get into that monday time frame we have another dynamic system that's going to be coming across the polar vortex it tends to kind of elongate now and then kind of stre strengthening that stretching out and sending that cold arctic air all the way plunging further south but yeah underneath that we've got that ridge of high pressure that's going to be locked and loaded out here off the west with those well above average temperatures in alaska and typically when it starts warming up in alaska the cold air plunges south and we're going to be seeing that in a big way as we get into that monday you know transferring into much of much of the middle of the week going into the end of the week as that we got that true arctic air on the table especially as we go towards the end of february but underneath that trough we've got a lot of instability with those colder temperatures and that snow that's going to be breaking out into portions of uh, montana as we get into that monday time frame but underneath that you can go to the upper levels we've got a lot of cold air so it's got all those purples that are showing up in canada plunging into montana but out ahead of it there's warmer temperatures so it's going to be rapid swings i mean we're back up into the 80s for much of texas and much of you know portions of oklahoma here so yeah i mean it's going to be a rapid swings in temperatures waiting for that arctic blast it's going to be plunging southward as we get into the middle of next week so as we go into that Monday time frame, there's the snowstorm continues to move further south. This is your Monday, uh, February 20, 21st time frame as that snow will be. And that's why they've got those winter storm watches in place into Montana uh, going into the Dakotas again. And you can see those isobars. <laughs> those are your damaging winds. Those winds start to really crank up and pick up with those 40, 50, 60 mile per hour winds are, are coming back with this this dynamic trough that's going to be plunging into the and off the west coast again bringing that snow and that colder air along with it 
So now it's going to be entering portions of Nevada here in Utah and going into Colorado as we do have a little disturbance down here to the south as well that we're going to bring, bring in some snow showers into portions of South Texas uh, going into Louisiana as well as uh, Mississippi and portions of Alabama into the afternoon hours on that Monday time frame. But by Tuesday, that Arctic air is going to be on the move and it's got a lot of cold air with it, guys as we're going to be experiencing some of these temp temperatures are going to be plunging you know rapidly changing 20 to 30 degree temperature swings in a matter matter of hours as that cold arctic air continues to plunge south reaching oklahoma reaching portions of texas by then but out ahead of it there's your warm sector so not everybody gets it a, a good chunk of florida is going to be really nice this week i mean florida just going to be baking almost you know a good chunk of Florida is going to be upper 80s, almost 90 degrees, really, for much, much of the week. So if you don't like the cold, head, head to Florida because they're not going to be experiencing that. And they're going to be experiencing some really nice weather all week long. But yeah, much of the country is not because that Arctic air is going to be a, a plunging southward, bringing that heavier snow along with it. Now it's going to be entering portions of um, uh, Minnesota here, going back into Wisconsin, and then those tight isobars continue to remain tight. And then there's the heavier rain that we're going to be having to deal with that, that with that disturbance that's going to be coming across in South Texas is going to be really elevating and, and increasing that lift as we get into that Tuesday time frame and, and bringing some, some of that heavier rain. We could be looking at one to three inch of rain amounts coming in on the day on Tuesday with some of these areas experiencing some of that excessive rainfall going into Arkansas portions of Missouri here as well as uh, Illinois and then to the north to the north we've got that shallow Arctic air plunging southward and unfortunately under that that's going to be creating some icy conditions entering back in the picture in I uh, Iowa going into southern uh, Michigan is here as as we're waiting for that arctic air that, that continues to plunge southward but there's your damaging winds i mean it's a lot of high winds associated with this with this arctic blast but underneath that yeah there's your 40 50 upwards to 60 mile per hour wind gust as we get into that tuesday night going into the overnight on that wednesday morning time frame but as we go into that wednesday morning time frame there's your water vapor imagery and we're going to be looking at a mid-level disturbance that's going to be lifting, lifting across in portions of Texas and Oklahoma, falling into that Arctic air. And underneath that, that's going to create enough lift in the atmosphere that some of that will be falling as rain, but it's going to be cold enough by then. Unfortunately, it's going to be falling as freezing rain. So a lot of this is going to be an icy setup as we make the transition into Wednesday morning going to the Wednesday afternoon time frame a lot of this is falling in and around the Dallas area and around portions of West Texas going into Oklahoma is going to be raining but it's going to be cold enough it's all going to be freezing on the surfaces so that could be a messy travel situation as we get into that Wednesday time frame for portions of Texas especially as we get into Oklahoma but there's the heavier snow on the backside. It's going to be all all snow with all cold, cold in all layers of the atmosphere into portions of Arizona as well as uh, Utah here and going into uh, Colorado as we get into that Wednesday afternoon uh, time frame. And, but there's the Arctic air continuing to plunge southward and it comes straight from Siberia. So it's going to enter all the way down to the deep south of Texas moving across by then as i mentioned florida doesn't really get in the action and really much of much of this much of the southeast really doesn't experience the the good chunk of this arctic blast that's on the table com coming uh this week but underneath that we have another disturbance that's going to be coming across on thursday creating that lift falling into the uh, falling into the arctic air so as we get into that Thursday time frame, there's a, again another system coming across through Texas, through Oklahoma, adding to those ice ice accumulations of potentially 
into portions of Dallas, going into Oklahoma City. It's just going to be kind of an icy mess for Wednesday going into Thursday. And then the snow to the north of there into Kansas, as well as northern uh, Missouri going into Illinois, as well as uh, Indiana. Then you got all that heavier rain still in the warm sector into the portions of the southeast into Thursday. But that continues to come across. So a lot of the precipitation ends for Texas and Oklahoma and much of Arkansas and much of Missouri. But the cold air doesn't. That continues to plunge southward. So there's your freezing line all the way down into getting all the way almost in portions of Houston here. But underneath that, anything that has falled uh, fell on the surfaces are not going to be able to melt even as we go into that Friday uh, time frame as that snowpack continues to push off to the east. Now going to be entering into uh, Ohio as well as southern uh, Canada here as we go into that Friday morning a time frame but then there's the there's the temperature anomalies you know with that arctic air continuing to plunge southward throughout the week and now going to be pushing across into the mid-atlantic states into uh, portions of the east so they're finally going to be experiencing some of that cool down but it's going to be all week long you really don't experience that until next saturday so it's a very warm week ahead with the cool down coming in for you know next week but there's there's the there's the cold air that's, that's plunging south this week with rapid changes so a lot of this year a lot of these areas for the next couple of days are going to be experiencing really nice conditions with 70s and 80s for much of the southern states but big changes are on the way by by the by the middle of the week going into the end of February with well below average temperatures for a good chunk of the West and especially a lot of these areas that are going to be experiencing the icy conditions are going to be experiencing well below average temperatures to end February. Just let you know, winter is not going anywhere and it's coming back in a big way with rapid changes by the middle of the week. So, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to, to subscribe to my channel. Catch the latest update. Wire protect you before and after the storm.